joining us for our mid-August surfboard workshop were Matt and Ollie. Matt is from Bath where he runs an architect firm with his wife, but manages to spend a good amount of time each year down in Senon too. Ollie is living in Plymouth, a city we all have fond memories of, where he's studying to be a mental health nurse. Both workshoppers settled in quickly, piecing together the frames of their surfboards at the two sets of trestles towards the back of the workshop. Once the frames were glued up, we all walked down the hill to the beach for some food. A lunch break routine that has now become established on a Monday during a workshop week as it gives workshoppers a chance to gauge their surroundings, take in the beauty of the Cornish coastline and feel the energy of the ocean that we all connect over. Matt and Ollie are both keen surfers, so conversations throughout the week often pull back to the ocean and how we all benefit from time spent in and around it, thankful that it has, that it has become such a huge part of all of our lives. Matt joined us as a 50th birthday present and was looking to make himself a board to suit his ability and the longboard friendly waves in Senon. He decided to make our popular 9-1 wicket with a simple wood layout with just one single pale stringer. Ollie is a beginner and wanted to make a surfboard that stands the test of time whilst being something he can progress on during his regular trips to the coast. So he made himself a 7-2 coaster with our classic double sandwich layout of cedar, poplar and teak. We really enjoyed the calm and joyous week with the both of you, and we can't wait to have you back here to pick up your new wooden surfboards, ready for a lifetime of gliding along waves. <laughs>